struggling with Dropbox refusing to uninstall completely or mysteriously coming back after you delete it? You're not alone. Hidden files keep running in the background, taking up space and slowing down your Mac, and Dropbox can even automatically relaunch itself after removal. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you how to completely erase Dropbox from your Mac, removing every hidden file and background process, so you can free up storage and stop it from running after a restart without any hassle. Let's dive in. Before you do anything, Dropbox is still running, even if you don't see it. If you try to delete the app while it's running, it will block you. Here's how to shut it down completely. Click the Dropbox icon in the top right menu bar. Click your profile picture, or initials, in the Dropbox menu. Select Quit Dropbox. If Dropbox isn't in your menu bar, don't assume it's not running. Check Activity Monitor, explained in Step 4. Most people stop here, but if you only do this part, you're just deleting the visible app. Dropbox is still lurking in the system. Here's how to remove the Dropbox app itself. Open Finder. Click the Finder icon in your dock. Go to the Applications folder. Find Dropbox. Drag it to the trash. Empty the trash. At this point, Dropbox is gone, but only on the surface. It has hidden files all over your Mac, which we'll remove next. Even after deleting the app, Dropbox leaves behind. Hidden preference files that control settings, cache files that take up storage, auto start scripts that bring it back after a restart. To find and delete them, follow these steps. Open Finder. Click a Go in the top menu bar. Select Go to Folder. Copy and paste each of these locations one by one, pressing Enter after each. Delete everything inside these folders. If your Mac says you can't delete a file, it means Dropbox is still running in the background, even after quitting. Skip to Step 4. Dropbox runs in the background even after you quit it. It has hidden services that keep running so it can reinstall itself later. Here's how to shut it down completely. Open Activity Monitor. Press Command plus Space and type Activity Monitor. Look for any processes named Dropbox or Dropbox Helper. Click them, then hit X. Force Quit. If Activity Monitor doesn't show Dropbox or files are still locked, use Terminal. Open Terminal. Press Command plus Space. Type Terminal. Copy and paste this command, then hit Enter. Now, go back to Step 3 and try deleting those stubborn files again. This is the step most people forget. And it's the reason Dropbox mysteriously returns after you've deleted it. Dropbox adds itself to your login items, so even if it looks gone, it starts up again next time you restart your Mac. Here's how to stop that. Open System Settings. Click the Apple logo. System Settings. Login Items. Look for Dropbox in the list. Click the Dash button to remove it if Dropbox is still running in login items. After you restart your Mac, go back to step 3 and make sure every hidden file is deleted. Let's make sure every trace is gone. Open Terminal again. Type this command and press Enter. If any process shows up with Dropbox in the name, something is still running. Go back to steps 3 and 4 and make sure every last Dropbox file is removed. So now, Dropbox is finally gone. But here's the real question. What's the most annoying app you've ever tried to delete? Some apps are even worse than Dropbox. I'm talking about ones that reinstall themselves, hide files, and eat up storage. Tell me in the comments, and I'll make a full breakdown on how to erase them permanently. Your Mac is clean. Now let's keep it that way.